I want to share a quote from a book that when I read it years ago, I didn't really fully understand it and it scared me. But since, since I read that quote years ago, I realize how true it is and how profound it is and how helpful it can really be in our lives when we understand it. So the book is A Course in Miracles and I, I talk about A Course in Miracles. A lot of the work I do is uh, grounded in many of the principles in A Course in Miracles. But here's the, here's the scary quote that I read. It says, whenever you attempt to reach a goal, we're all attempting that. So whenever you attempt to reach a goal in which the body's betterment is cast as a major beneficiary, you try to bring about your own death. I'm just going to read that a little more here. It's a big statement. Whenever you attempt to reach a goal in which the body's betterment is cast as a major beneficiary, you try to bring about your own death. Now what I'm talking about in this video is not spiritual or, or abstract. It's very, very concrete in your day-to-day -day life. It's about going after what it is that you really want. And really the, the, the takeaway, I'm just going to jump to the advice here. Although I don't really like to give advice. But basically what I'm going to advocate for, and I'll come back to explain this quotation. But what I'm going to advocate for is you investing more in feeling better about yourself emotionally feeling more at peace feeling calm feeling safe feeling joyful feeling excited feeling like you have clarity but before you go and jump into action so the quote is whenever you attempt to reach a goal in which the body's betterment is cast as major beneficiary. Basically it means when we don't have an awareness of how important it is to feel at peace with clarity and joy first and jump into instead action. Well now the, the, body, the body's betterment is the major issue. It's the thing that I'm really focused on and I forgot that really I have to focus first and invest first in feeling good okay because if we're not doing that we're basically saying all those emotions and all those negative things you're feeling repress them shut them down they don't matter stuff 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 away and that's really what it says when it says you try to bring about your own death it's trying to kill your spirit through avoidance through denial through repression through bulldozing, through pretending that you don't matter as a human being and that how you feel is not important. And the really weird thing is we're trying to achieve all these goals, really. Ultimately, all we ever want is to feel at peace. So practically speaking, what I'm suggesting here is this is just a video to say prioritize doing whatever it is in your life that's going to help you work on the emotional and mental blocks that are creating a sense of dis-ease before you uh, commit to taking action on things. Don't get me wrong, action is important and I want you to take lots of action. But the problem is we're, we're trying to, through habits and strategies and everything else, we're trying to just jump into how can I do more action and going into denial about a lot of the feelings we're feeling, not really feeling good before we do a lot of the things we do. So I want you to totally invest in feeling better about what you're doing and also why you're doing it. Because a lot of the reasons we're so busy and preoccupied in taking action, the reasons are not good reasons. They're for, well, I was told I should do it and other people think it's important and I'll get love when I do it. Not good reasons. Really what we want to do is we want to be seeking instead of those misguided reasons, we want to be sitting and attuning into, well, well, where's my clarity? I'd like to feel clarity here. Okay, that's going to require stillness and doing whatever it is you're going to do. Seeking focus, seeking ease, seeking to connect with the desire that's inside you instead of obligation, I have to do this, I have to do that. Oh my God, there's so many things to do today. Seeking 
seeking to bring about our own psychological emotional death through denial of how we feel. Now how you do this, let me, let me be a little bit, uh, a little bit uh, facetious here in this. I don't care how you do it. If you doing 10 push-ups and, you know, um, breathing exercises or whatever it is, whatever techniques you're using in order for you to remove this, this fear that's there and to get into a better feeling place, if it's manifestation techniques, if it's affirmations, if it's working on your story technique, whatever it is, meditation, that's what I advocate. And you will find out the toolkit that is the most useful for you personally in order for you to start getting into that better feeling, more, more peaceful place before you take action. It's so interesting to me that we've been told that action is everything and to ignore ourselves. So we really want to be looking at a big part. Of I think personally, the biggest thing you can do in terms of what you do in that space to feel better is to really deeply question, why am I doing this? What is this for? What is the purpose of this? And ideally, you're going to find that you can remove a lot of that stuff because there are there's fake motives behind it. There are, you know, sinister motives behind it, unhealthy motives. But when you start to get into, well, it's because it, it's what I want to do. It's what I feel attracted to do. It's what I feel a strong desire. It's pulling me towards it. It's exciting for me. N then you're on the right track. It could be other things you do. Maybe you read material from people that resonates with you and it tends to get you in a better feeling place. Maybe it's some people really, really need to connect with other people in order to feel good about good and find that place of clarity and peace within themselves before they go and take action. People are different in that. There's no one way to do that necessarily. In my book on procrastination, a lot of it is about making things seem easy and don't have don't don't being not being overwhelmed by things and getting to that point to doing that inner work where you're feeling, okay, I can see my pathway here as being very easy and very achievable. Another thing to do would be to sit down and look at how can I, I actually don't think finding balance in your life is really that useful of an idea. I think what's really important is to find focus on something that's meaningful and then to delegate a lot of the other things in your life to, um, well, I call it your delegate, your inner delegate that's there to help you with a lot of those things. And it's connecting with that delegate. But that needs to be done proactively and consciously and deliberately. That does should, doesn't just happen all by itself when you wake up in the morning. That needs to be a practice of connecting to that within yourself and handing things over to your delegate and saying, I want you to, okay, what do you have in mind for me today in this area? And you can stay super focused on one area of your life without losing con connection to those other areas of your life. Now, I, I go into that in detail in my book, Procrastination Decoded. It's, a, it's the, the part of the book that's it's all about delegating. Because there's that thing about, well, how can I do something and achieve a really important goal without sort of having no life and letting these other areas of my life fall into um, disarray and ignoring them? So the ideal thing when we're being productive is to be super focused on something that's really significant and meaningful while also not losing contact with those other areas of your life that are also important. And that can be done, and it's done through responsibility and taking on focus on one thing and then delegating the, the skill and art of delegating things to that inner delegate it's basically in your subconscious it's like a, a sub, uh, subconscious assistant that wants to help you so there are many things you can do in order to feel better first so we want to find clarity focus ease desire what is it that I really want to do and that is again that's going to take a little bit of sitting with emotion in order to feel into the desire. Because when we wake up in the morning, what's there waiting for us? Obligation. you got to do this, you got to do that. Oh my God, I've got six things I need to do today. So I'm going to leave it there, but basically you can sum this video up in this sentence. 
don't take action until you feel good. And the more you have that as your goal, I'm going to feel good and then I am going to take action. Absolutely, I'm going to take action and it's going to feel easy. I'm going to have clarity and I'm going to feel a sense of desire and purpose. But don't take action until you feel good. Now, maybe that's a big goal there. And some days maybe you take action and you don't feel really good and you feel a little bit better. But how about don't take action until you've committed to working on feeling better? That could be something where we start off. Invest in this time and these practices and being around this new philosophy of personal productivity where you're realizing, okay, it's not all about action. This needs to be done with a sense of joy. It needs to be done with a sense of peace. And maybe, and that is a thing, if you have that as a goal, you're going to get better at doing that over time. So don't feel like, okay, David said I have to feel good and tomorrow now I have to feel like a amazing before I take action can you feel better okay so have that goal of I'm going to work on raising my emotional state feeling more at peace within myself before I take action that's my goal each day and the more you do that you're attending to yourself emotionally you're not bulldozing yourself into action when you really just repress all those emotions I promise you if you have that as the goal you're going to be more productive not only will you feel better and you're connecting with yourself more, you will be more productive because the bulldozing and the emotional denial and repression doesn't work. And it's crazy to think about it. Like most of the time when we wake up, most people do not feel good before they start taking action. And then they think, well, I don't have time to sit and do these practices. You don't have time not to do these practices, to figure these questions out, and to look at these motives for why you're taking this this, uh, these action steps and why you want the things that you want we need clarity around that to really connect to what's meaningful for us so I hope that's helpful if you want to learn more about my ideas of personal productivity my book Procrastination Decoded is available on my website and online you can also take my productivity course about how to overcome these blocks to reaching your potential and stop procrastination and as always, I'm so grateful that you have joined me in this video. If you like the video and share it with somebody you think it might be helpful for, that is the most helpful thing you can do. And I will see you in the next video. And thanks for being with me. Take care.